Hello everyone, it's Rogue Visual here. Today I'm going to show you some uh, Lumion 10 effects to make your visualization very realistic. We are not going to talk about materials or compositions or models used in this tutorial. We are going to talk only about effects. So let's start. First effect that we're going to use is going to be a uh, two-point perspective. So, so that's, that should be always on. The next one is going to be uh, precipitation. We can disable it and we're going to use it later. We're going to use real sky. So, we should find a good sun angle. I should mention that uh, I used a real light inside the model. going to increase the brightness maybe to 0 0.3 uh, next effect that we are going to use is going to be reflection we're going to add planes into glass Next effect that we're going to use is going to be skylight. This should be on. Brightness one, saturation one is good. Render quality put it to high. We don't need to be ultra. And one of the most important effects is shadow. going to decrease sun shadow range maybe to 320 21 coloring uh, maybe increase this a little bit brightness we should decrease it interior and exterior we should increase it maybe to 0.8 or as yeah, 0.8 is good omni shadow we're gonna leave it like that and uh, with shadow correction we're going to de decrease it I'm going to enable shadow soft shadows for the next effect that we're going to use, next effect is going to be color correction. Temperature, temperature is going to be 0 0.2, 0.3. Tint, leave it like that. Vibrance, maybe, maybe just a little bit. Brightness, zero point seven. 
or 0 0.65 is good. Contrast, put contrast. Uh, Maybe 0 0.4 saturation. We should decrease saturation. 0 0.7 or 0. Yeah, 0 0.7 is good. For gamma correction, we're going to leave it like that, and we are not going to play with limit low or, or limit high. We're going to enable precipitation. Precipitation phase. We're going to decrease it. This is good. Range no, we should you can increase it just a little bit, it's just a little bit. Or we can put it to zero, no problem with that. We're going to put that to zero or just a little bit. We are going to change that. For the fog, we are going to increase, decrease it. Extra fog addition. Increase this a little bit, rain snow. And uh, quantity. Now, what we need to do is add another effect, which is called, which is called hyperlight. We should increase it maybe to fifty percent. Yeah, this is good. Now we're going to add three D, three D grass. force to 0 0.5 and yeah this is good so now all we need to do is to press render we're going to render it as desktop So this is our final result. Now we are just going to make some post production on Photoshop. So let's open our file or render.
Type Control J, Control Shift A. Now we're going to increase temperature maybe to three. Then we're going to let it zero. Exposure just a little bit. For the contrast, uh, maybe to seven is good. Highlight. I like zero, zero is good. For the shadows, we don't have to play with that. For the whites, increase it. Maybe we need to increase exposure just a little bit. It's good. For the texture, maybe plus five. Clarity seven, the haze ten for the vibrance, maybe plus seven, saturation seven or saturation. We should decrease it to four, maybe it's good. So this is our final result. If you want more tutorials about Lumion, 3ds Max, Corona or VRA, let me know by subscribing and liking this video. Thank you for watching guys.